Has been discovered. Um. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, what? the class oh. trial will It doesn't will say begin. what you can use to your liking. A violent shiver coursed through my body. My heart began to pound faster and faster. I could feel the blood in my heart pulsing instantly. Welcome back, by the way. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? When I was finally able to speak. My voice sounds so small I could barely hear it myself. Why? Why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally he finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare, please just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. No. Right? This is just situation and the bio discovery announcement. It's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing? I can't deny this truth, but why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey, what happened? Akane, move. Move it. Oh no. Why? Why is Nekomaru? Why did he have to die again? Damn it. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time. Connie. Damn it. How cruel. This is it's just too much. Why why didn't Akamaru have to die? Though his appearance was distractly altered, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this always happen? No matter how much I try to stop it, this is always the result. Is this something I can't stop? Damn it. Hey, Nekamaru got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means, right? I won't hey, who did you. it? Who killed Nekomaru? Maya. Looks like someone is finally pumped up. You. You, you know who did it, right? Who killed Nekomaru? Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. Huh? I went to all the trouble to bring Nekomaru back from the dead, and he already let the killer break him. Yeah. Not disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose. You know, because he's a robot. You talking about Nekomaru? Akane, calm down, please. Here's that power that your anger has awoken from the investigation. For the investigation. Um. Is there any way you can fix Nekomaru? Hmm. I can't. I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but since he's like that, it's impossible. Plus, the last time this happened, it was my fault. But this time, the killer is the one of you guys. Is one of you guys? Yeah. I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. Ass. <gasps> It's the time to ask him. It was. In other words, any life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for you, and there goes gravity. So, so even though it's getting a little boring, let's get this. Let's go on with the usual routine. It's a monokuma pile. Red bean bread and milk. Yay, food. Why are you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch? Besides, if I don't feed you, you guys probably won't last long enough for a class trial. Thanks. Damn it. Oh, 
Amaru. I won't After I kill you. that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm gonna eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. Yikes. <gasps> you're right. If we're gonna avenge Mecha Maru, we gotta regain as much energy as we can. Still calling him Mecha, Ma Mecha Maru. Damn it, I'm gonna eat. See? Come on, Hajime. You too. I yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it, I've never expe expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Yeah. Hey, hey! It'd be bad if you get a stomach ache. We ate our food in silence. At a dead bot, looking at a dead body. Well, um, it was a robot. So you can feeling in my numb body. Numb body, body, body. Isn't Looks like you've gotten your energy back. Time. Then let's hurry up and start already. I'm gonna do it. Awesome. I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. However, um, regardless of whether we start or not. What has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys at Strawberry House? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Mm. They should have come to Great Tower because of Monokuma Tai Chi. Jeez, how unacceptable. I did not expect all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. What are you well, since it's happening anyway, I guess it is what it is. Wait, what? Everyone ditched? Do your best. To investigate, I'll see you again at the class trial. <laughs> uh, I hear. Um. What do you hear? Huh? Could it be Nakamaru? Damn it. Of course not. He's. Already dead. Yeah. Oh well, now is not the time to worry about that sound. Sound? What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um. And what about Gunnam and the others? Is it all right that we have not summoned them here? <laughs> They're gonna come here soon anyway. Now is not the time to worry about them. You're right. I should have heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon. Hopefully. Maybe? Yep. Then we should start the investigation soon. Why not now? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Gotta do it. I have to do it. <laughs> Investigate. Alright, as always, we look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Nekomaru Nidai, aka Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. Body was discovered in Great Tower, which is inside the Flint House. This has severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of the bodies are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. Arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to severe impact. Does that mean Nekomaru was apparently clubbed with some sort of weapon? But was there a reason they needed to, cl uh, to club him over and over again? Hmm. Alright. Well, let's look at that chain on the door. It's wrapped around the doorknob with every direction, and it even has a padlock on it. Why do they do something like this? This was used as an alternate to locking the door with a key? If that's the case, you wouldn't be able to enter this tower from Strawberry Hall side. After all, this door leads to... This door should lead to Strawberry Hall. You are right. If they barred this side up of the door with a chain, it wouldn't be impossible to open it from Strawberry Hall. But still, why would they have to bar the door to the strawberry hall? Hmm. Odd. Alrighty, well, let's look at Nekomaru's body. The 
It's really damaged that even his head was dented. That might, that'd be the fatal wound, right? It's hard to really disdain. Disdain? Ugh. Determine? Mmm. Mm, I'm trying to find the right word for this. I can't really think of it. So we're taking our dental hold back. Now it's probably not the best time to think about that. Mm, you're probably right about that. Robots are definitely unusual. Definitely. Doesn't matter if he was a robot or not. Either way, Nakamura was still killed. Yeah. Are you gonna let me look at his body? Mm. What is? Well? If they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why did they destroy his entire body, too? Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all over? Yeah. They went against Coke Nakamura. He's the type to. He ain't the type that easily. Have left himself open to attack. In fact, that's the biggest mystery. Nakamura was even stronger after he became a robot. I can't think of anyone who'd be capable of killing him. Well, there's enough information. I should investigate a little more thoroughly. Yes, thank you. Take me to the body. Alrighty. Well, let's see what that is. Nakamura's left leg. Same wire is tied to his arms, almost like he's bound him up or something. Even when they bound him up, the killer still had to deal with the robotic Nekamaru first. Who did this? And how were they able to bind Nekamaru? Also, the tip of this wire. Looks like it had been tied in a loop, but... What was the point of that? Uh, I was wondering, can we look at his leg? The cover on his chest is open slightly, but it won't open much more because the cover's all messed up. If only Kazuichi was here, we might have been able to open it. I think it's done right now. Seems like oil. Well, what else? Yeah. Well, it's good to see that the blood is finally blue now instead of pink. I thought I... Huh? There's something for Nakamaru's neck. Is this... Oh, that's his button. The good night button. Mm. So I've been easy. Well, that's all I could do for now. Nekomar's body. Well, obviously, let's look at this hammer. The most... Stands out so much. How Perhaps cool. that hammer is the weapon that broke Nekomaru? I do believe a weapon of that size is capable of damaging Nekomaru. Mm, something's off about it, though. Is it the weapon? Yeah, it's almost like it's new or something. Too new. Hmm. Where did the killer you know? obtain this hammer? Um. Prior to now, do not believe I have ever seen an object like this. Was it hidden somewhere? I can only think of one thing. I can only think of one place. No, I. Mm, I didn't want to look at the wall. Oh, I have to look at this. Okay, broken pillar. Broken. Did this pillar break when it fell over? And not just that, there's a strange look at it. Ooh, is that Snekamaru's oil? This is the only pillar that's tipped over. The other one's still standing. Plus, behind me is the door to the Grape Hall. I haven't changed either. They're not tipped over. Strange that the pillar is the only one that's tripped over. It might mean something. Probably does. Huh. Let's see, I got it. Got what? Leave it to me. Uh Um I don't think that was the weapon. Damn it. 
Um, there's a problem with that. It's too heavy, Akane. Now then. Huh? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, but if two people could lift it, that still doesn't make sense. And plus, we. Plus, we're not even picking up a whole pillar. We're picking up like a third of it. Or a fourth. It's no use. It's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? All right. If that's how it's gonna be, my body can take it. Power times three! No, seriously. Just give it up already. Seriously. Don't hurt yourself, Akani. Why? Won't even budge. Can't even move the pillar. Then it's impossible to use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Mm. Hmm? Robo Coach Nekomaru, he's definitely the only one. Mm, maybe. But. Huh. Akane? Should we talk to you? Find anything? Hmm. Leave it to me. Hmm. Yo. There is something I thought was weird. It happened earlier this morning. You're going back that far? Like. You know too, right? You heard that rumbling sound. Rumbling. Oh, right. The kablam. Which we thought was not another earthquake. I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was, but that noise woke me up. I ran out of my room without thinking, and have, and after I did that, then what happened? I didn't see anything, and it looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out, so I went back to my room and fell asleep. Dan and I never found out what that sound was, but it's been on my mind for a while. I just mention it. It does seem strange. It's just what was that sound? Hmm. Well, I should tell you in more detail. When I ran out of the room, I have to glance at the lounge clock. It said it was around 5.30 a.m. Will you be able to find out anything with that info? I'm not really sure if that noise pad is the or not. Hmm. Why? Yeah. I went to the trouble to remember that and you've got nothing? Jeez, you're so damn useless. Calm down, Akane. All right, Chiaki. How about you? Huh? What's this? Did you find something? Well? Under Nakamura's body. No, wait. There are small rock-like fragments underneath Na Na Nakamura's body. What do you mean rock-like fragments? See? Here, look. Oh, okay. That's probably from the pillar. Well Important. Just for now, I've checked out everything in this place that caught my attention. What is it? You seem lost in thought. Mm. Well, the final dead room. The final dead room? What the heck? Why are you bringing up that place all of a sudden? No. Chain wrapped around the door, framed my back. And the wire that tied up Nakamaru. All the evidence of this crime seems consistent to this of things we've never seen inside this building, doesn't it? But as long as we can't leave, there's no doubt that they came from somewhere within this building. And it has to be from the final dead room. Monokuma said beyond that room there's an ultimate weapon in a place called the Octagon. Yep. Yeah, so if we think of that place like an armory, then, then that's where the killer obtained their tools, right? If so, let us com go confirm it. No, that's dangerous. If you go there, you have to play the life-threatening game. Well? Then I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. No. That place was dangerous, right? You? Man, it's noisy. I can't focus with all this noise. Sorry. It's not like 
that? It's not you guys. There's a sound that's been ringing since before the investigation started. You've been mentioning that sound for a while, haven't you? Hey, hey. What kind of sound is it? Um. It's like this high-pitched alarm clock sound. It's probably ringing from upstairs. Could it be? Maybe it's better if we go check out that sound first. Uh. You're gonna go check it out? Then you guys go. I'll, I'll stay here. Then I shall wait here as well. Please be careful, you two. How come you're not going, Akane? Uh, well, that hey. sound is annoying. I don't really feel like leaving. Hey, hey. It's okay if it's just the two of us. Says she wants to stay here. Oh, I guess she, she doesn't want to leave Nekamara's side. I don't know if she's actually aware of that or not. Yep. Let's go, Hajime. Yeah. Let's go. Where the stairs? Oh. There we go, you can hear it. I want to check that pet first. Jeez, it's so noisy. It looks like that phone is ringing. Guess I'll answer it. Don't know why you couldn't have just answered it. Click. Damn right. Oh, you finally answered. Is that you, Fuyihiko? Jeez. You know how long the phone was ringing? I was getting worried that no one would pick up. What are you guys doing? Are you still in Strawberry House? Obviously. Like... Even if we wanted to go over there, we can't. Looks like someone broke the damn elevator. It's not moving at all. Can't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall because the door button there is broken too. So basically, we're sitting ducks here. Not only is the elevator broken, but the Strawberry Hall door button is broken too? Hey, bastard! Hey, are you listening? Y yeah, I'm listening. Anyway, everyone in Strawberry House is safe, right? Well, we're safe, but we can't find Nekamaru anyway. Where? Do you know anything? Did you hear the body discovery announcement earlier? Damn it, so that's what it was. Shit, why did it have to be Nekamaru? He just came back to us. Where was he killed? Grape Tower, when I went there this morning, he was already... I see. Grape Tower. If the door to Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter the tower and... Holy shit, that's it. The killer broke the elevator and the Strawberry Hall door. So they could split everyone up and prevent us from doing a proper investigation. Dumbass! Dirty bastard. What about another way? Is there any way you guys can come to this side? Well, yeah. Guess we can just let Kajuichi handle it. I said he'd take care of the elevator. I guess he's our only hope right now. Alright, besides if he doesn't stand out now, the hell will he, <laughs> right? Like... Based on what Kajuichi said... It's gonna be hard for him to fix the strawberry hall door without parts. They say they might be able to do something about the broken elevator. We'll be waiting. Are you guys gonna be okay? Damn right. Head over there as soon as Kajuichi fizz the elevator. It's up to you, bastards. I could let the bastard okay. part out. So the call from came from Strawberry House. The call came from inside Strawberry House. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. How long? Yeah. That's not all. For some reason, even the door button to the Strawberry Hall is broken too. Don't you mean in Strawberry Hall? Huh? The door button to Strawberry Hall? In Strawberry Hall? Um. Then the door is. There's this three chain tied around from the inside, and the button is also broken on the other side. Then, yeah, that seems to be the case. Mm. Why did the killer need to block both sides of the door? Sure, but there's something strange about that. Um. I'd like to investigate that in more detail, but if they can't come over here, then we can't go over there. Yep. Which means 
For now, it's impossible to check the final dead room. Keep going there, but regardless, it's possible now anyway. Apparently, Kazuchi is repairing the elevator. All we can do now is put our hope in him. Alright. So, going to wait, I doubt we have that much time before the fastest trial starts. I hope Kazuchi can fix it soon, if not. Hey. Are you even listening? Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? Damn right. Now you don't. I'm talking to you. Huh? Jeez. Don't harm me. I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry. I was just thinking. Hm. You were probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? But I have been listening to you. Nekamaru was killed, right? Then that body does discover was referring to him. Damn it. Damn it! How Wait. Should they know it was Nekomaru? Shouldn't Monokuma have come up with food in the Monokuma file for them? Hey. Seriously, Monokuma, you're slipping on your job. Fix the elevator. Did you call Get the Monokuma me? file, right? Now then. Red bean bread and milk. Again? A bonus item. It's the Monokuma file. Do your best. Why is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? <laughs> Just eat. Every eating should come first right now. Damn right. You're right. It's okay if you guys eat, but can you hear me out while you were at it? What do you get? What is it? Thinking about what we should do and wanting to discuss it. Even so. Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We have to wait until Kazuichi fits the elevator. The killer is responsible. But it seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbols of hope will give up because of this little setback. There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. We need to do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial. Right? Well, yeah. Fine. It seems that we still get the investigation on our end, though it remains unclear how much we can do. <laughs> Is this acceptable? <laughs> if I show my serious side, things will not end mere, with mere child's pool. You guys are pumped up for the start. How beautiful. Ah, oh, such beauty. There's no higher honor for me than to investigate this murder with you guys. I need to be grateful towards Nakamaru for becoming the foundation of this hope. Regardless, whose side should I be on for this case? The killer? Or the rest of you guys? I must make sure I face this case as mystery. And I wish that was true. <laughs> Alright. You know, we could probably understand the situation we're in. Fine. Proceed. Look at what happened this morning. Try to use the elevator so we could participate in Monica with Tai Chi, right? Damn Since right. we're staying at Strawberry House, <clears throat> it means spot at Grape House. We need to use the elevator first to go to Grape House. That was before 7 a.m. since it was right before Monokuma Tai Chi. Yeah. Once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway. Since we couldn't do anything about it, we just tried to get inside the tower from Strawberry Hall. But we actually got there, the button to the hall door was broken. Thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. <laughs> it's just that we use the phone to call Grape House. This too must be the will of Kazuo. Surprised! I never expected that the elevator would be disabled. <clears throat> How was Nakamaru able to get to Grape House? Man, we went before the elevator was disabled. And when was that? Ooh. It'd be difficult. Well, you might know what time he went to Grape House. You serious? Seriously? I. It was around sunrise. That's when I saw him going down the first floor. What? Going to Grape House? Hey, when was hey. the sunrise? Was it before that rumbling sound? Huh? Rumbling sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? Right after the clock in the round lounge started ringing, we heard a rumbling sound. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey. I didn't know that either. It's weird. We're not quite on the same wavelength. 
Well, if it is what it is, there's no way you guys will ever be on the same way. It's trash like me. Looks like this is leading to an interesting development. Alright, Kazuichi. Stuff with the rambling noise and the ring flap. What was that all about? Mm. Oh no. You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking the time to explain it to me. Uh. Huh? Fine, I'll tell you. It happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room and all of a sudden I heard the huge sound. <laughs> what the hell? It sounds super loud, so I rushed out of my room. And I went down to Harto's lounge. Hey! What are you doing? This rock is it's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice! Don't go making all that noise so suddenly. It's not me. The wall clock just started ringing. I was just trying to stop it. Then hurry up and stop it already. I, I, I know I'm in the middle of doing that. <laughs> ah. Man, that totally freaked me out. Well, I'm definitely wide awake now. I'm wide awake. What did you do to me? You! Shut up! Why would anyone do something so childish? Huh? You sure seem to get there pretty fast. Well, well yeah. I didn't rush over here. I was in the lounge by coincidence. Way this building's going to collapse, right? I don't think so. Hey. Stop clinging to me. Hmm. And that's what happened. That's obviously that's not the important wrong. part. Did you guys just separate? Yeah, God, I gave hey. them the Something else happened. Also, felt really weak. Back for our rooms for a while. I see. What you said just now was extremely important. Thanks to that, I thought of one suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? Me, of course. Huh? Huh? I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud everyone else came to their, from their rooms. Well, the same goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Why, you? You better not try to confuse the shit out of us. Hey, hey, hey! Anyway, it's no doubt you guys just told me it's a very important clue. We got a clue as Nagito. I have to remember what his name was. That was terrible. I didn't remember his name. It's sunrise, right? Can you explain to me in a little more detail? I... I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep. I figured it was nearby a lot morning, so I went to check the clock in the lounge. Turns out I was totally off. It was still around 5 a.m. Hey! Um. Uh, from the lounge. 
Something like that would have I would have mastered the strength of following. Hey, hey! But why did Mike wander off so early in the morning? I I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't gonna get any sleep. So Jeez. That's when the clock in the round started ringing. Thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nakamaru. Until just now. And from the time you saw Nakamaru until the alarm rang, you were at the lone... Loud okay, why can't I not talk? During that time, a chance where you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? What? Huh? Hmm? Was I right? You. Of course not, asshole. You're completely wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. I thought you were really messing with Pekka or something. But that can't be, right? After all, you already know how pointless it is to clean the memories of the dead. Okay, you got Fuyehiko's uh, account. We, we forgot. Yep, I get it now. Thanks to everybody's detailed information, I'm slowly getting a grasp of the situation. Um. Uh huh. So, yeah. He's just basically gonna tell us all the stuff that we just learned. Yay. Why? I don't know. But I might as well let him do it. I'm in the palm in him saying it. In case you guys are all. All like, no. Mmm. Trying to word my, Let's word my words straight. carefully. During that noise. So, that must have been Nekomar's final scream before he best breath his last. Hmm. Oh, Nekomar died when we heard that sound. Does that mean we have an alibi? Alibi? I mean... When we heard that rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know. Is that when the killer murdered Nakamaru when he had a solid alibi? I get it. Can't argue with that. Hmm... Get off, get off. And, oh shit. I had a piece of paper clinging to my elbow. It's another thing I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the round just go off just before the rumble. What do you suppose that means? Hey. Hey, haven't we talked enough? I really think I should repair the elevator soon. Oh my, you're still here? Once the elevator is fixed, I'm not going to let you anywhere near it. Mm, that makes me sad. What should we do now? Ah, there's something I want, to, want you to do. After the elevator is fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. What is it? The clocks of the first floor lounges are both grape houses and... Second floor! It's second floor lounge! Huh? Huh? Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard! I would have investigated myself, but. By the time the elevator is fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Uh huh? Uh huh? huh? Counting on you. Guess what place he's talking about. Uh, 
Oh. I guess I should check the buttons first before I go to the place. Malfunction the safety device. Look, if you see the silver cover under the button, it looks like there's an elevator that's control panel. They probably opened it and messed with the settings. But the cover is locked, so they would have been able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Hmm? Are there any tools in this building? Uh. No, they shouldn't. There shouldn't be. I don't really know if they forced it open with the tool anyway. Control panel on this side wouldn't be the one that was forced open. Yeah. Use the control panel. Yeah. The one on this side isn't broken. They're that's the only thing I can think of. Pretty sure there should be a control panel over there, too. Plus, the elevator is stuck on the Grape House side. Wouldn't that make sense? The last person who used this elevator went to Grape House? Uh. Yep, it's official. The elevator was assembled on the other side. Hey. Hurry up and go away. Mm. Huh? Mm hmm? Whoa! How'd you get something like this? I had it with me before I even arrived at the fourth island. If you're going to explore a new island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? A multi-tool. You serious? Is there something wrong? Uh. It's nothing. You see, your repairs might go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. Huh? What? That mu multi-tool has a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. Well, what the... F the hell for? To be honest, there's something I still don't understand. We're current the situation of this structure of the building. So please, I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Huh? Don't really get it, but, well, as long as I'm just checking a compass, I don't mind. I'll leave the rest to you. Okay. This part might be a little longer than normal, so bear with me on it, okay? Gundam. <laughs> Listen well. Yeah, that's probably it. And you know what room it is? It's the final dead room. The ultimate weapon awaits! There's no doubt Nekomar's killer had been that place. No matter where I search, there's no weapons anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekomaru, the killer must have obtained it there. It's the case I should keep going. Also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I should go. You see, so this is the final dead room. Feels a little eerie. Hope I don't get scared. <coughs> Clack. Did the door just lock? Let's see, the door designs are automatically locked. It's not I would have turned back if I stayed up if it stayed unlocked. I thought the door finally opened. Now it's locked again. Usami? Manami? I figured you turned up since I haven't seen you in a while. But I never expected to see you here. N Nagito? Huh? Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I heard the body discovery announcement, and I thought something happened in this room. You got locked in here when you came inside. You're a fool from head to toe. I'm truly ashamed. Well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Get in your way? 
The life threatening game is about is going to start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? Besides, the only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. Oh, Nagito is not trash at all. There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live. You can hurt me right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy. I think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who shoulder hope. Escape, boo. Alrighty! Leave it to me! Yeah. And all honestly, if you want to, like, just not do it at all, you just click right here, and I think you gotta pay, like, 10. Okay, you gotta pay 100 Monokuma coins to do so. Anyway, let's look at number 6. And interact with this desk. More specifically, the middle drawer. Got pliers. And then if you open this one, there's a note in there, but we'll keep that for later. Just remember that quickly. Alright. Watch the news. Now for this, you want to enter... No problem. I don't know how you're supposed to find out the hint, but I'm just following the guy to... Oh, hold on. Never mind. I'm not supposed to do that yet. Okay. I'm supposed to open this. I take that. Um. Oh, I hit the five. I meant to take the hanger. Okay. And then I want to use that on that. Oh, triangle. There we are. Okay. Now I do the watch the news. Oh, I know how you're supposed to do it. Okay, you're supposed to look north. But how are you supposed to know which way is north? Okay, this way is north. Then east. Then west. Then south. That's how you're supposed to find out the... That's how you're supposed to figure it out. There you go. Okay, so it's so it's going to be three by uh, three nine. Five seven. We got a camera and a USB stick. All right, getting back. Ah, there's something under the bed. Well, why don't we use this? That's key, okay. Well, since there's a desk key, might as well use that on the desk. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. Alrighty, backing up. And we're going to get rid of this thing. Enough already. They ain't getting grannies. Hmm. And of course, what are you going to do with the batteries? You're going to use them on the camera. There we go. Now I got a digital. Okay. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Okay. Don't need that up anymore. There we go. Okay. Time to go over here. Oh, I guess I should use the USB on the computer.
Alrighty. Nope. But I do, if you remember what the password was. Yeah, you actually have to like, uh, uh, do this. So S S M. It's the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Not you, Jupiter, Saturn. Oops, uh, R two. This a th fellow? Yeah, and then you look at that. Now, if you looked at that, and then you have to watch this thing. It's kind of hard to like remember it. So if you want to write it down, you can write it down. So yeah, just you keep watching the blinking lights there, and see now it's going to start over. That means it started all over. Just in case you want to try to do this legit. Then you just gotta come back over here and type it in the inputs here. It's fairly simple, actually. Wait, no, what? There we go. So it's gonna be nine, eight, seven, six, five. Okay. And there we go. Oh. Then you use the USB on this thing. And congratulations! You beat the final dead way. What? Um. Hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. Guess I wasn't. Why does the exit feel like it's not opening? Hmm? What do you mean it won't open? Clatter, clatter. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Could, could it be? Is this joking around? Seems like you have something on your mind. Mind telling me what you found earlier? I'm sorry. I was just praying so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Um. Solve the mystery found dead room and you will obtain the right to play the life threatening game. See, we only got the right to play the life-threatening game. We're not... We haven't played it yet. See, it's just a game of Russian roulette, and you get to pick which ones, like, how much you want to put in, so it's not going to be that bad. Seems what it meant. Um... What does it mean? It means the games up till now were just the opening act. From this point on, it's the real performance. Eh? Life-threatening roulette. That's probably Russian roulette. Probably. Hey! Russian roulette? You can't! You can't no matter what, it's too dangerous. Hey, Monami, there's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian roulette. Hey! Ah, if that's the case. Load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it. After that, point the gun towards your head and pull the trigger. You can't. Wait, you can't do that. There's, there's a one in six chance you'll die. One six chance of death, which means the failure rate is only one sixth. Hey, is that rule really okay? Huh? Hmm? I mean, if there was only one sixth chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? So, shouldn't it be the opposite? Removing one bullet from the gun and then use it while there are still five bullets loaded? 
If you do that, there's a 1 6 chance of success. Yep, that would definitely make this a more thrilling game. That's what are you saying? Let's give it a go. <laughs> Hold on, Nagito! What are you doing? What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. Obviously. I've only removed one bullet. So there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You, you can't! Please stop! It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? Yeah, I'm the ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? Yeah, what kind of talent is it? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? Please, stop! Quick. Quick. Gonna unlock it just now, huh? Hi. I'm scared of you, Nagito. Mm -hmm. Really? Let's go. The octagon should be just beyond here. So this is the octagon, huh? Hmm. Well done. Congratulations, Nagito. Oh. Ah, well, well, he's here. Yeah. Congratulations on clearing the final dead room. And you even challenge yourself on the highest difficulty with only one sixth chance of success. your student profiles of your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Meaning there's profiles that you guys don't even remember. Times at Hope's Peak Academy, huh? Wah -wah. So let's go memories? I mean, no good person like me actually spent time with everyone at Hope's Peak Academy. No, that's impossible. If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Jeez, whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. Anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who attained Hope Speak Academy student's profile. And what do you mean? I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? <laughs> but it looks like things are go going to get interesting. Yes, Nagito, you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. Don't really know what you're talking about. What are you planning? What's written in there? Lies. Anyway, Monami? Hey, no cheating. Hey. You haven't reached the end yet. Eh? Hmm? Huh? I mean, you haven't played Russian roulette yet. Um, 
it, but I can tell already did it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get over here. Revenge of the final dead room. What? Korikyo? Jeez, they're gone. The end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. More hatch. Let's find it again. Interesting. Let's find out dead room. Hey, a window. Let's look out the window. This is what I actually saw outside that window. It was completely different from any possibility I had in mind. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm trying to do Doggy Does Lap, but I'm obviously I can't do it as good as he can. Yes, I see. It seems I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the fun house with this. Well then, where else should I go? Poisons? Hmm. Might as well look at these weapons. Amazing! As expected of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction climbing to the truth all thanks to just one clue. I know that now is not the time to enjoy this, but this is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. That's right, everything became connected from there. Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon in the funhouse. Before I do that, I should finally take a look at the file I received from Monokuma. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope Street Academy. That's important. I should open the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Huh? And of course, we don't find out what it is. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hajime? Huh? Sorry, did I say something? Well, it's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator has been fixed yet. It'd be bad if we st were still split up before the class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. I'm sorry. So what are you going to do? You're right. I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. I think. Good idea. I think. Right. Oh. Well, what? Huh? Ah, uh, Nagito. Hello there. How's it hanging? How the fuck did you get in here? <laughs> because I showed up. How did you even come here? <laughs> Maybe I teleported? Huh? How are you able to come to this side? Hey. Something I need to tell you guys. There is. Try to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. Now I'll give you some details first. Let's hurry this up. Yep. So now we get the truth bullets. From Nagito. And Kazuichi's account. Oh no, we didn't get Kazuichi's account, it's the wall clock. The fact that everyone's strawberry house had the rambling noise too. That about the wall clock going off before that happened. Strawberry Hall's button was broken, it's definitely worth noting. Hey. One more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room. Huh? 
Is it a life threatening game? It wasn't life threatening at all. This was a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one gun and pull it again, spin the cylinder, point it to you, and pull the trigger. So you really did it? So that's how you're supposed to play it? So it would have been fine if I've only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Mommy said. Huh? I mistook and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. I only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving. Well, but I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. What's wrong with him? His ultimate luck is so much better than Makoto's. That's all there is to it. I was able to obtain several rights. One of those rights? <laughs> it's the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. You'll be able to do that in half. Man. Hey, Hajime. You stay quiet. You've been repeating yourself over and over. It's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> I, I was able to clue the, the roulette of the highest difficulty and I attained quite an amazing prize as my reward. Future Foundations file. Yep. It's a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. Continuation? Information about this killing school life there, the earlier file. Killing school life. If I remember correctly, it's exactly like Hope Speak Academy. Or it's exactly like the first game happened. So that's whatsoever. There's information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Right. But besides Byakuya, of course. Then it's just as I thought, that Byakuya was the Byakuya we know, right? I can't say that information was completely useless. The truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and this killing school trip. Similarities. First murder involves someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. Uh, I wouldn't really call Sayaka hey. important. Feel the presence of the serial killer among the group. But she technically wasn't really a serial killer. <laughs> Their murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Hey. What do you guys think about these strange similarities? It's definitely strange. Well. Can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma was behind the motors and driving to the murders. Mm. What are you trying to say? Hey. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Hmm? <laughs> Whether that means something or not, it's something each person should think about on their own. I wanted to tell you guys the truth. Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Jeez. Compliments just never end, do they? Complaints. I won't tell you anything more, and I've even learned what your talent is, too. Uh huh? Well, well, that file was the only thing I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal. Yep. Indeed, it's the Hosby Academy School Crest. Does that have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunately I couldn't find any clues about that. The file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. It's just mine? Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Jeez. Quite troubling that you should ask me that. Say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? That ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Host Peak Academy? Man. It's just as Chiaki said, Hajime's existence is special. Because you were <laughs> just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Don't know why they're playing the hype music for this, but I love it. Well, Unlike the primary department of main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who enter the school through a basic entrance exam. And yet we don't hear anything about this until now, obviously. You're like a substitute or the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists in Chris Hope Peaks Academy Revenue Stream. Reserve department? Substitute? Second string? Revenue stream? 
what is he saying? Like I said, be a reserved for student. You don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the Academy can focus on bolstering researching talent. <laughs> Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Isn't which means rough? you've just a stepladder, but you should feel honored. An average talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell does that mean? <sighs> Simply weren't determined enough. Do you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attain? Ugh. Just opposed with hope. Obsessed with hope peaks a like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that. I stop wanting to become hope. Is that what you're thinking? Just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming hope possess his amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born, born into this world, you either have that or you don't. There's no mistake. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. You don't even know. That's why. It's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blind by your admiration for hope to be candidate that you couldn't even see that? <laughs> There's just nobody from the front. You never had a talent to begin with. Ain't nobody. I forgot he was a nobody. That's all. Wow, that sounds strangely familiar to Kingdom Hearts 2, does it not? You were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. I don't have any talent. I'm just an ordinary high school student. Man. I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not But it. still, you think about it positively. It looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, alt utterly unremarkable high school student? There's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. Mm. But if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous skill killing school game, Biagia, would have been the most likely candidate. But now, that's probably impossible. Hey. Are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Huh? Well. It may be important to talk about who the traitor is. But we need to focus on Mekamaru's murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is going to die together anyway. Mm. In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey. You said you could have found a dead room and obtained those files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? <sighs> Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Is there a reason I should answer that? Huh? What the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtained there as I see fit, right? Plan to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. I'm not on the killer side. That hasn't changed since the beginning. So I repeat myself. I just want to hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What you're saying doesn't make sense at all. Exactly, Chiaki. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. Seems like to tell you a little tidbit. I... I did go to a place that seemed to be the octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name ultimate weapon. Don't worry, there's no way that's possible. Stop it. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What did you say? Oh. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. Won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating Mechamaru's case? Better hurry, the class trial is going to start soon. You're right. Haven't seen this crime scene. I guess Strawberry Al should be coming over at this side any moment now. Bye now. I'm not allowed. I'll go on ahead. Hey. Aren't you, man? Yeah, I already know. You want me to focus on Mechamaru's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to feel like that. Can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. We need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah. I'm revealed to revealed. Relieved. You're right. Yay, we're finally back. Trolling Hajime, and we learned the most shocking of truths. 
<laughs> Turn from the depths of hell. Gundam. Yo. Sorry we're late. Hey. Just so you know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Hey. Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. Hey. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look at that matter I asked you about? Huh? Oh, that thing about the compass. I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think the compass might be broken. You stay quiet. I didn't ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. <laughs> Compass Neil rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. 180 degrees? <laughs> it's just a thought. Huh? What do you mean by that? Well, that's obvious. Most likely rotated 180 degrees. Now then. Go investigate Nakamura's body. Oh my. Aren't the guys. Mmm. Mm. Shouldn't those guys be like confused of uh, how um, Nagito got over here without riding the elevator? You serious? Damn it! Yeah, it's fucked up. Okay. Wow. Wait, haven't there still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly? Now that Mikan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right. But Kazuichi would be able to dismantle the body, right? Huh? <clears throat> eh? It cannot be. <clears throat> I won't forgive you. Then Coach Nakamura has been through enough already. You don't know? Been through enough. We need to perform this investigation. We can find out who ki the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Kane. Maybe you don't care what happened to Nakamaru. D damn it! Why you? You stay quiet. You s if you. S Suck at using your brain. You really need to know who the killer is. Try to in not to interfere so much. Now he knows me coming like a dick. Jeez. What are you standing around there for? Uh. Fine, I just gotta do it right. I know I said I want to see his insides, but not like this. This is too much. Well, that's yeah, feeling okay too. Now is not the time to be staring in space. So do I talk to Kazuichi? Damn it! Huh? Oh. Maybe. Yeah, we know it was the head. Hmm. Oh hey, this chest is open now. Should probably go investigate that. Seven thirty. Hmm. No, the clock can't be malfunctioning. He said it's a radio clock. It can't be tampered with. Cannot be adjusted, see? Okay, I don't care anymore about the flashback. That's all I really need to look at for now. What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nakamura's body and it almost seems like he's glaring at him. What are you doing, Nagito? You're the worst! Huh? Jeez. I swear you're just the worst. What are you talking about? Well Oh! You don't even know? Hmm. That is strange. See? Because that door has both of the handles on it. Now then. That has to be the door connected to the grape hall that we entered from right. Well. <laughs> Try it out. How? You don't know? <clears throat> It's obvious. Well... 
I don't have enough parts. That's not much I can do about it. <laughs> oh, huh? you want him to use Mecha See? Maru? Hold on. <laughs> it's a much more better alternative than pausing it with the rest of the junk, right? Hey, it's possible or impossible. Oh boy. <clears throat> What's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain? Uh, yeah, that chain? A dolly. What's gonna happen to- I don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? What does you mean? What are you talking about? Right? Yeah. Hey. Oh, and what'd you find? I. None of the clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. Don't get the bastard at all. Yeah. Jeez. You're. Oh. Damn it. This is going to be the longest episode. I am so sorry. I. Maybe I can split it somewhere, but I don't really want to do that. I'm so sorry. This is going to be a fuck long episode. Where the fuck is the elevator? Good news is this is the last clue that we're going to, so... No need to worry. What's up? Hey, hey. Well, I'm never saying that you use Nekamaru's parts without my permission. Hey, guys. Well, I mean, even so. Now then. I'm hurry up and try it out. What will happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? Even so. It'll open you. I haven't done anything about the chain. Hey. The door of Strawberry Hall behind Nekamaru's body was blocked off by a chain, remember? Don't do anything about it. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> try it out. <laughs> Worth trying it out. Might as well try it out. Fuck you, Fuyuhiko. Or not Fuyuhiko. Fuck you, Nagito. Well, I pressed the button. And it opened. As a matter of fact, it looks to be the exact same crime scene. Huh? Hey, hey. Only a little different. Impossible. Where did the chain go? Hold it. That's not the only thing that's strange. Exactly. In front of the far back door. Yep. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nekon Bar in front of the door to Grape Hall? Hey, hey! That I carefully arranged when I descended the body, I all moved. Two. They've all moved the exact same way. It's exactly identical to Grape Hall. Grape Tower, whatever. It's rotate 180 degrees, right? Can't imagine that the floor actually rotate 180 degrees, but. Is that really what me this means? No, it's more than that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. Think this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. Oh. We got two. I see. Thought when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> Just as I thought. It was definitely the right choice to confirm this. Where I knew about the mystery. See? Oh my gosh, I thought that was the last clue I needed to get. Uh, hey look, a handle's missing. Probably the one that he found under the thing. See? 
right? Well, that's not what it looks like. You said clue. What are you talking about this? Mmm. What? <laughs> no need to worry. Just one clue will change everything. Huh? All the mysteries will be solved as if everything were linked together if you can reach it. Just like I did. What is he talking about? Thank you. But, how are we gonna get there? It appears that it's time for the class trial! This is like an hour and 20 minutes. Probably an hour and 30. I'm tired. Extremely tired. I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already. Man, I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy. I just want to ditch. <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it. I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. You're so kind, Monokuma. It's so annoying. You can count on me to take this seriously. Hey, hey! You're supposed to get through the trial ground. Damn it! Hmm. hmm. Um. Did something happen? Hey, hey! No, uh, well, did you guys hear something? She has extreme hey, hey. senses. Like her sense of smell and hearing is like extreme. Oh yeah. That happened. So, yeah. Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. Right. I'm gonna do it! Please be a little cautious. It's obviously a trap. It appears you can not My familiars are saying, do not go inside. It's nearly showtime. You could kill me. You're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. <laughs> yep. Gundam. Um, yep. All right. Uh, Fine, but if Miss Sonya's going, there's no way I'm not going to go. Damn it! It's so damn annoying. <laughs> We're the same. The same. Step ladders. Huh? Nagato was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked on the Monokuma rock. Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. Whoa. You and I are just stepladders for everyone who's hold the title of ultimate. I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? Man. That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that should that survived would be true hope. Damn. But I wasn't. There's no hope amidst all this killing. Of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Isn't that right? That's what it means to live, right? No way I'm going to accept that. Wow. It's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's no there's this one novel I like. It's a particular mystery story. A novel? Uh, the story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end, <laughs> surprise, surprise, the girl is actually the killer. Here's another surprise. If you actually continue on with Kyoko's thing <clears throat> in the first Danganronka game. She also references that. So, yeah. The projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about that novels like that? Just jumping from one topic to another. Coming down a book I haven't read before. No good at all. Should have expected that from a talentless reserve course student like you. Yeah. <laughs> but. I know you don't matter at all so why do I care about you you admire hope I love hope right <clears throat> but maybe the difference is what's making me so emotional enough already I don't have time to argue with you let's go everyone's waiting man everyone huh 
So you still believe you're just like everyone else? So full of themselves. Calm down. I need to calm down. <sighs> okay. Shook finally as it descended at an even increasing speed. Hey. Well, we're in a normal elevator. That sh that shakes this bad. Reminds me how effective that elevator in the funhouse was. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. Keeps continuing to shake and descends deeper and deeper. And suddenly, it stopped. Like it always does. Like it always does. And the door opened. Whoa! I actually like this design. <clears throat> well, your trial ground. But it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get this out with it already. My chest hurts. Forcing everyone to do this is so sad. Hey, hey, hey don't go take it. Talk about my permission after I've been. After I said my catchphrase. Now I'm really I'll give you a angry. sex. What the hell? Hey. What an extreme punishment. Now then. Let's go on with it once again. Let's get a move on, boys and girls. So it begins. I hope this would never happen again, and now it's happening for the fourth time. The curtain to the fourth class trial was about to open. Nekomaru Nidai, the ultimate team manager. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone I've ever met. Truly, he was more man than any of us. He sacrificed his body to protect Akane, and his appearance changed drastically because of that. But he still tried to live earnestly. And just when I finally got used to his new form, Nekomaru's killer is one of us. Everyone on there is dead! Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let this be excused. I won't forgive this. The person who betrayed Nekomaru. Who betrayed their friends. I will never, ever forgive them. And so, the life threaten has begun. Well, that was interesting, huh? A long investigation process, but in the next part of Let's Play Don Gunrope 2 Goodbye Despair, we will begin the fourth class trial. See you all next time.